Hi, I'm Dick Cheney. Today we're going to be learning how to use knives. Here are some things you'll need. This is what not to do. Then you have to prepare a sandwich and what cutting techniques you'll need. This is the proper way to cut a carrot. Make sure to keep your fingers away from the blade at all times. Always make sure to cut away from yourself. Cutting towards yourself can lead to disaster. Well, I'm not sure about you, but I like to get my set my my sacrifices nice and fresh. You know, brings out the taste a lot. So you gotta mark where you're gonna cut. You know where you're gonna visualize it in your mind. And then when you go bring up for the swing, nice and clean. So bring some spice all the way from Asia. Get some ramen noodle packets and you know, some people like to de-shell the ramen before they eat it, but honestly I like the crunch. And my, that pop is just so satisfying. Okay. So then you get into the meat of it. The meat of the fruit. The fruit of your labors. So you're just going to want to pull that out. Get a nice hefty handful. We'll put that aside. Keep that for later. And sometimes you'll get lucky and miss some something like, you know, some sub. That can just... I, 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 I actually like to, you know, it's a really good exfoliator. I put this on my skin from every now and then. You'll tell your friends to love it. Silky smooth in days. So we'll just get the rest of this out of here. And now the shells. What to do with the shells? A lot of people ask me, Dick Cheney, how do I get rid of the shells? I don't. Now to assemble the sandwich. This is uh, one of my grandmother's recipes for sandwich. You're just going to need any kind of whole wheat bread. You don't need anything special. I like two slices. You could go three if you want to go against God. It's not my room to judge. And when we get the pieces nice and slathered up. So let's start with some a base layer of some apples. Those are always good. I like them crisp. I don't I don't I don't peel them. I like them crisp with my skin. You know, sometimes I'll get a little seed in there, it's a little pasty tree, a little cyanide, you know. Next, I like to top it up with some of the ramen. And then you just get it in there. No shells in this sandwich, please. Next, we cut to the flesh of the innocent. Oh, look at that. Ooh, you see that? Nice and cut. Ooh, that's good. Put that on there. And then finally, the carrot, the piece de resistance. That is going to bring the pop and the flavor, some of that umami flavor. The carrot. All right, now once you've got your two halves of the sandwich, you know what to do next. You flip that on over. Just s slash it, crush it. Pretend it's somebody's spine. Look at that. And look at that beautiful sandwich. Look at that. Ooh, pristine. And remember what I told you, I'm gonna cut this in half. Now, if you've been following along and you remember all the tips, you should know. Now, look at that front section. Ooh, 
That's a beautiful cross section. As a man once said, that's a beautiful cross section. Now, to give this sandwich its final flavor pop, 